This side hustle idea is going to turn your measly $5 into $120. This side hustle idea has been kept underground, buried, away from you, because the people who know about this side hustle doesn't want you to become a competitor. And the reason why I'm here today to tell you about this side hustle is because I know that you're looking for a way to generate passive income and you are not sure which direction you should take. There are so many side hustles that you can do now, but as you may know, many of these side hustles require a lot of work in order to make a little back in return. Also, many of these side hustles can be physically and mentally demanding. And I know you, as an entrepreneur, are looking for a side hustle that you can start with little to no money. And that can give you the most money with little to no effort. All you have to do now is just get yourself a cup of coffee. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you step-by-step step on how you can get started so that you can start generating passive income. But before we get started, I have a question for you. How important is it for you to smell good? And does smelling good even matters? Perfume has been around for centuries and for good reasons. Wearing perfume can be a great way to make yourself feel confident and boost your mood. Perfumes can also provide many physical benefits such as increasing alertness and helping to mask body odors. Furthermore, wearing perfumes can be a great way to make a good first impression as it can make you more attractive to potential partners or employers. Now, other than the benefits of smelling good and boosting one's self-esteem, people also purchase perfumes for more than just the obvious. As you may know, we humans have a natural tendency to want to separate ourselves from others. We all want to be better and stand out from the crowd. And for that reason, people are willing to pay a premium to achieve that status. People are willing to buy expensive perfumes for a variety of reasons. One of the most common reason is to make a statement. Expensive perfumes often have a more luxurious scent than more affordable perfumes, and the scent itself can be seen as a sign of success or luxury. The packaging of expensive perfumes can also be very attractive and luxurious, making it a great gift for a special occasion. Also, many people may choose an expensive perfume simply because of its brand name, as this can be seen as a sign of quality and luxury. So in order to make your perfume business profitable, we want to get the best fragrance, we want to focus on creating a unique brand, and most importantly, we want to focus on your packaging. So to get started, you'll need to decide on a type of perfume you want to create, such as floral, musky, or fruity scent. Next, you'll need to gather the ingredients for your perfume. These ingredients can include essential oils, alcohol, and water. Once you have the ingredients, you can begin to blend them together to create the perfect scent. When blending the ingredients, you will need to start by combining the essential oils and alcohol in a bowl. Then you can add the water to the mix and stir until everything is evenly distributed. After this, you can add additional essential oils to enhance the scent. Once you're happy with the scent, you can pour it into a bottle and let it sit for a few days to allow the scent to fully develop. Once the scent has set, you can label the bottle and start selling it to your customers. Making your perfume doesn't have to be expensive or complicated. You can find the supplies to make your own perfume at most craft stores, health food stores, and online retailers such as Amazon. Common supplies you will need include essential oils, jojoba oil, a mixing bowl, glass bottles, and a dropper or pipette. Additionally, you may want to buy additional supplies such as measuring cups and spoons, alcohol, a strainer, and an eyedropper. Prices for these supplies can vary depending on the quality and quantity you are looking for, but you can usually find the supplies you need for a reasonable price. This is also the best time for you to experiment with different fragrance to see which one smells the best. The next step we're gonna talk about is creating a brand for your perfume business. Creating a brand for your perfume business is essential for building a successful business. Having a recognizable and distinct brand allows customers to easily recognize and remember your products, leading to more sales. A strong brand also creates trust with customers and encourages them to come back to your business. Also, having a successful brand gives your business a certain prestige allowing you to expand and grow your customer base. When you create a brand for your perfume business, your customers already know what you're going to deliver and expects nothing but the best from your business. If done correctly, this can allow you to charge up to $100 per bottle. You know, people usually ask me, Sean, what does it mean to brand? What does branding even means? And what I usually say in return is, branding is just a simple way for people to understand what you have to offer and the quality of what you're offering so that they can know what to expect from you. So if you brand yourself as a business that's offering products for cheap, 
then people already know, okay, this business here is gonna be cheaper. But if you brand yourself as a business that's only offering premium items, then your customers will know, if I come to this business, I know that I'm gonna have to spend a lot of money in order to acquire the product. So when it comes to branding, it's all about letting customers know what you have to offer, the quality that they can expect, and how much you're gonna charge. Now, when it comes to selling perfume bottles, we gotta learn about pricing. When it comes to pricing your perfumes when starting your perfume bottle, it is important to consider a variety of factors. First, you should consider the cost of production and the associated overhead cost. This includes the cost of materials, labor, packaging, shipping, and other related expenses. Next, you should take into account the cost of advertising and marketing. This includes website design, social media, print and digital advertising, and more. It is also important to consider your target audience and their willingness to pay. If you are selling luxury perfumes, you will be able to charge more than if you are selling budget perfumes. Finally, it's important to always test your pricing to ensure that it is optimized for the maximum profit. This may include testing different prices, offers, and promotions to determine which offers result in the most sales. You can use websites like Etsy to see what your competitors are charging for perfume and read the reviews to see how satisfied customers are. By testing your pricing, you can ensure that you are maximizing your profits while still providing customers with a great value. Now, when it comes to selling a product such as perfumes, the most important thing, and I mean the most important thing, is going to be the packaging. If you wanna make money as soon as today, and if you wanna start earning up to $100 per bottles, you gotta work on making your packaging look very prestige. Packaging is an important factor when selling your perfume because it is the first thing that potential customers will see. It sets the tone for the rest of their experience and can influence their decision to purchase. Packaging is an effective way to communicate the brand's identity and the message it is trying to convey. When creating great packaging for your perfume business, it is important to consider both the visual appeal and functionality of your packaging. To create a visually appealing package, consider using bold colors and unique shapes to draw attention to your product. You may want to include high quality pictures and eye-catching graphics to further enhance the visual impact of your packaging. Additionally, make sure to include relevant information about the product on the packaging, such as the ingredients and directions for use. When it comes to functionality, it is important to make sure that your packaging is secure and easy to open. Consider using tamper-proof seals or other forms of protection to ensure that the product remains secure and intact until it reaches the customer. Additionally, the packaging should be designed in such a way that it is easy to open and close. This may include perforations, tabs, or other features to make the package easier to open and close. A well-designed packaging can help to build brand recognition and loyalty, thus boosting sales. Now, one of the drawbacks about selling perfumes online is that customers are not physically there to actually test the product before making a purchase. So because of that, we wanna make sure that the customers have accurate information before they decide to buy perfume from your business. So to compensate for this drawback, it is important to ensure that customers have access to accurate information about the products being offered. So when you are putting perfume for sale online, we wanna focus on making sure that the product description is accurate. So in your product description, it should include a detailed list of ingredients, a description of the scent, and a list of possible reactions from wearing the perfume. Additionally, providing customer reviews or testimonials from previous customers can help to provide assurance that the product is of high quality. When you are creating a website for your perfume business, it is important to create an attractive website with easy to navigate menus and visually appealing design. Your website online should be mobile friendly as many customers are now using their phones to shop online. Offering discounts, promotional offers, and free samples can help to increase sales as customers are more likely to purchase products if they feel that they are getting a good deal. Now, because your perfume business is new and nobody knows who you are, for your perfume business to achieve maximum profitability and to achieve success, we want to focus on building good customer service. Providing excellent customer service is great for entrepreneurs who are starting a new business, as this will allow for customers who have concerns about your products to ask you questions and you can immediately respond back. When facilitating a customer service space, customers should have access to service representatives who can answer any questions that they may have. Additionally, a money back guarantee and free shipping options can provide customers with extra assurance that their purchase is secure. If you guys want a longer video on how to start a perfume business from scratch, leave a comment below. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a productive day and I'll see you in the next video.